Mike in St. Louis. What's up, Mike? Yeah, I'm calling just to see what uh, you, know, you think about this new commissioner of baseball. Who, Is Manfred? Gonna, huh? I, I, I haven't seen him do anything yet. It's a little early. I mean, uh, they got to give him some time to spread his wings. Uh, Manfred's been... Uh, been around a long time. He's been through a lot of the labor wars. He's been through a lot of the stuff. He knows, you know, where the bodies are buried. He knows what's going on. Let's give him a chance to kind of be his own guy here. Let's, uh, you know, I think it's a little early to, to pass any judgment. Let's see what's going on. Got to give him a little time here. Do you think he's going to, uh, you know, maybe bring, you know, some really neat stuff like nine game series or, you know, dead ball or anything like that? What? Yeah, you know, like uh, some changes to baseball that might change the record books, things like that. What are you talking about? I'm just talking about, and, and, um, you know, like you, you going want, to a nine-game World Series. Why would they we do did. that? Why would we do that? Uh, to change the game, make it why? more interesting. Why would that make it more interesting? Why wouldn't it make it more interesting? <sighs> no? Isn't that what you'd like to see? You called up to ask if they would change the series to a nine-game series. Well, you sat on the phone for an hour for, to do to do that. You really must have some serious time on your hands. Ryan in East Chester, what's up, Ryan? Hey, Mike, how are you? Good. Good. So uh, the horse was from Schenectady. Excuse me. The horse, the eighteen horse, was from Schenectady. You're losing me. I don't know what you're saying. And from Belmont, the one who won. What horse are we talking about now? The one that won Belmont. What Belmont? The Belmont. Stakes. The Belmont Stakes hasn't happened yet. Oh, okay. Then I'm lost, but go Yeah, back. you are completely no, 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 Mike, lost. Mike, give me a second. I mean, completely. Wait, do you think they've run the Belmont Stakes this year already? That's what someone told me. It's really? Connected. It's the 18 horse. She wants me to put money on it. it That's the horse. You think that someone, you, you think they ran the Belmont Stakes already this year? That's what someone told me, and I'm wrong. Well, wait a second. Uh, so you've never watched the horse race, then? I've watched it. I've Did you watch the Derby on Saturday? I go a uh, Meadowlands. Uh, Did you watch the Derby on Saturday? Oh, the Derby was 18 from Schenectady. I don't know what you're saying. What are you Who saying won? about... Where was the horse from? Who won? From Schenectady? What are you talking about? Schenectady, New York. What horse from Schenectady? Who won the race, Mike? A horse from California? Oh, okay. I'm in LA, but anyway. Wait, 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 listen, when you get back from Mars, call us, okay? Okay, yeah, okay yeah. please. Jimmy in Rockaway Beach, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, how's it going, Mike? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I was just wondering, what do you think about if the Giants release Coughlin and the Jacksonville Jaguars pick him up? Do you think that they can make a playoff push? They looked good last week against Denver. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Uh, it, it, on a day like this, it's a nice day outside, right? Yeah. Are you home today? Um, are yeah, I'm home right today? now. Are you, are, you, are you a student? Are you employed? Are you a, what, what do you do? What do you do? I'm actually a student, but I You're was student. watching no, listen, this guy listen, 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 you got to, you got to, uh, listen, yeah, are you a high school student, college? What are you doing? Um, Where do you go to school? I'm a college student. You're a college student. You actually got into a college? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I got into uh, one. Now, listen. Listen, there's got to be a, is there a book near you right now? Is the, can you see a book where you are right now? If there is, read it, please. Okay, please. Do us all a favor. Mike in Mohegan Lake, what's up, Mike? Hey, Mike, how are you? What's happening? I got a scenario for you. Just, I just want to, I want to see what you would say. You're the Yankee brass that makes the decisions at the end of the year. A-Rod's got two years left on his deal, $30 million a year. He gives you it's not thirty average. million a year, but go ahead. It's thirty million well, for three. It's sixty million for three years. Okay, whatever well, the case for a year. Yeah. After three years, he gives you an average of two seventy five batting, twenty five home runs, ninety RBIs on base of about we'll say five fifty. We'll play in the whoa, middle whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa! On base of five fifty. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry, not on base. I, I meant the other, the other stat. Wait, wait, wait. Forget the stat. A-Rod's not knocking in 90 runs this oh, okay, year. Okay, but wait a second. Wait a second. You're the GM for the Yankees. Right, what's your point? At the end of that contract, right. do you offer him any kind of contract? You're kidding, aren't you? What do you mean, I'm kidding? How so old probably, will he be? Who do better than him how in that old? Spot. Wait, first, 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 first of all, how old do you think he would be at that point? He's going to be about 41 or 42, and but I'm not offer, telling you a one-year deal. A uh, one-year deal. You wouldn't uh, offer They wouldn't offer him a one-day deal. They wouldn't. First of all, 
first of all, your numbers are crazy. Do you know how few guys average 25-90 three years in a row in this era, the last couple of years of baseball? You're going to have a guy in his 40s do it? Average 25-90? What is the oil being pumped to have to do with the franchises? In, in within like five to ten years, they're talking about America. We could be oil self. Right. So, but wait, what is the uh, those are companies are already in business? You think they're going to do what with that money? They're publicly owned companies. They can't buy ba football teams. No, but in cities that get built up around the area and things. what? Where? And give me a town. Give me a, give me a name. Not nowhere yet, but it, you know, out oh. in North Dakota. South you wait. Dakota. You think you're going to see an NFL team in North Dakota? Possibly. You yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't see a. You would. If I let you live here for 300 years, you wouldn't see an well, NFL team North, built in North but, Dakota. But I, North Oklahoma, Dakota. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Tulsa, North, you know. North Dakota. North Dakota. <laughs> Do you have any people live in North Dakota? Not the co Why don't we just plop a team down in the middle of, you know, one of those Grand National Parks, okay? That's about how many – we'll let the Bears go to the game. North Dakota? That's the call of the year. We're going to put an NFL franchise in North Dakota. I got it now. There you go. Dan in Warwick, what's up, Dan? Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, I just got a, uh, a question about the Giants. Uh in your years of experience, have you ever seen, uh, you know, this, how the San Francisco Giants were once the New York Giants? Has, has there ever been either a franchise to franchise or maybe even player to player get together when San Francisco comes to New York? Like, do they ever say hi? Maybe uh, I don't know, go out to dinner or something. Uh, oh, I don't know what, is, what are you talking about. Is there ever any interaction when the San Francisco Giants come to New York or vice versa? The San Francisco like, Giants come to New York and do what? I have a game. I, you know, play they, ever, the, like, they play against the Mets, and what do you want to happen now? Do the, do the New York Giants ever reach out to them, either the players or the franchises? The football you know, they, Giants? Yeah, the football Giants. Well, what is the con connection between the San Francisco Giants and the football Giants? Well, they used to be in New York, and they got the same name. But they have they have nothing to do with each other though. They're, there's no connection. Then they have different ownership. They, there's no connection between the two teams. I mean, there's no connection in any way between the two teams. They have no relationship. Do you think because they're giants, they're like brothers or something? That might be the weirdest question I got in a long time. I mean, that might, and, and I think that's an honest question. That might be the strangest question I got in a really long time. Uh, Nick in New Jersey. What's up, Nick? Hey, Mike. Uh, I was just wondering with the... Uh Yankees and uh, just baseball in general, do you ever see a team going undefeated in the regular season that being as dominant as the Pats and the Dolphins where they run oh, the table? 162 and 0? Yeah, like a team being that dominant. Do you think that could be that could happen in baseball? Yeah, you're, you're not serious, are you? No, like we, we've seen... So wait a second, wait, you, wait, wait, have you seen anybody come close to 162 and 0? Well, didn't the Yankees that one year come okay. 120? And okay, wait, 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 wait. The Yankees didn't win 120. They won 111 in the regular season. But still, they're only 50 games away. 50, not a game, 50 games away. Yeah, but they had 110 wins. They were right. they were good, but they weren't as dominant as the Patriots or other teams what? that have wait, wait. Both the running the table. So you think a team that you're comparing winning 16 games to winning 162? Well, obviously football has less games. So they couldn't have but won more games. They, they, but the football has more, less games, really. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Uh, I got a quick question about the Knicks. I was wondering, uh, what do you think about uh, Vince Lombardi? As the head coach, I really think he can make a big difference for them. What do you think? Wait a second. You actually, uh, you called up to ask me. Yeah. Is that, Mike, let me ask you something. Yeah. Let me ask something. Well, I was wondering. When you got uh, out of bed this morning, when you got out of bed this morning. Yeah. Did, did you work today? Yeah, I'm working go, now. Are you I working now? What, what, do you, what do you do for a living? Actually, I'm a fireman. You're a fireman? Yeah. You're a fireman? Yeah. Where? I'm a volunteer fireman. You're a volunteer fireman? Yes. Are you working right now? No, I don't work. 
Oh, you're unemployed? Yeah, I lost my job the other day. You lost it the other day? And a guy, uh, yeah. So, I, so you decided, instead of going looking for a job, you decided to call up and ask me if a deceased coach would be a good coach for the Knicks. What? Well, I didn't know he was deceased. Listen, that, that, I mean, really. I'm on unemployment. Well, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm not surprised if you don't. I mean, you know, really, I'm not surprised. I hate to tell you. George in Westchester. What's up, George? Teddy? Teddy, is that you? Oh, God. I mean, you got to have something more important to do on Sunday morning than to bother me with that stuff. Joe in Far Hills. What's up, Joe? Hey, Mike, uh, I was going to ask a Yankee question, but I just wanted to know, I know obviously today you were preempted again for this uh, Champions League. Have you been uh, kind of getting into this at all, like uh, trying to follow it at all? I mean, you, there's some pretty wait, good games out there. Are you talking about the soccer? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good tournament. It's the end of the tournament, uh, yeah, the I most could competitive care stages. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, so, you know what? Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. There was a 6-1 game today, man. That's pretty good. Have you tried to look into it at all? No, I have no, stars, I have no interest. Thank you. Do, you. do your kids watch it at all? Watch soccer? Yeah, like I you hope know, not. FIFA on the PlayStation. They I play hope with not. SD. I mean, he's very popular with kids. He is. You should give it a shot. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty entertaining tournament. Wait, soccer's okay. exciting. Listen, maybe so if soccer's exciting on TV, you know what? I've, I've, I haven't yet grasped that if it's exciting. I mean, they're on preempting TV. you for it, so you should well, listen, at least try and look listen, at it. I, I, I mean, I, I, listen, wait a second. I'm doing a radio show during the day. You think I have time to watch the TV show that's on when, when I'm on? Do you think that's what I do? Is watch the TV show when, well, I'm, when I'm doing a show? Go on in the background. So is that so? You think what I do is during the show is I watch uh, the other TV shows while I'm I'm watching another TV show while I'm on. No, what I'm saying is you're the best that there is, so you can obviously watch uh, the uh, game while you're talking to these mongrels calling in about you know, Joe. This. Joe, give it a rest. Give it a rest. Really, I don't know what your point was, but it was ridiculous from the start. What's up, Carl? How you doing, Mike? Is everything all right? Yeah, good. First time caller, Mike. Uh, how you doing? Good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing good too. Uh, how was your vacation? Uh, right, we get there. We get to a point, and now that we've figured out how I'm doing, what what would you like to get to? Well, I was on vacation the same week as you were. We went down to Great Adventure and everything. What'd you guys do? All right, well, I, 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 what's on your mind, Carl? Uh, I just wanted to know how you were doing because, you know, you know everybody says how you're doing. Is you never really give a. Is there a, is there a, is there a point here, Carl? I just want to know what you did on vacation. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Now, what else you want to talk about? Just want to let you know I'm doing good, and I hope you're doing good. I went down a great adventure on vacation. What do you guys do? You want to say something more clever than that, or you want to leave now? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I, that was a wonderful call. Ryan in Hoboken. What's up, Brian? Hey, what's going on, Mike? First time, long time. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering if you had a chance this weekend at uh, ESPN uh, or the uh, classic, you know, it was like ma three major storylines going on there. First off, the uh, no appearance KVD, first time in 13 years. Uh, the weather played a major factor, and the hometown hero ended up winning. I was wondering if you got a chance to catch it. And uh, I don't know what you're talking. What are you talking about? <laughs> the uh, Bassmaster Classic. The what classic? Bassmaster Classic. The Bassmaster Classic. Yeah. Are you talking about fishing? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I might have missed that. So, uh, okay. who won? Uh, the hometown hero, uh, a guy, uh, guy from South, South Carolina, young guy. Uh, right. He, he, uh, he took it away. It was, he was the favorite. And what did he get? And what did he do? <clears> oh, <throat> uh, he won. He, he, uh, he got the, uh, the three-day average uh, lead. Uh, I think uh, he took away about 49 pounds worth of that. Oh, uh, well, good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled by that. So, uh, I'm glad. So, maybe next time I can catch that. Chappie in New Canaan. What's up, Chappie? Hello, Mike. What's I'm, happening? Uh, <laughs> What's up? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi there. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. Uh, I'm here. Oh. You gotta go. Let's go talk. Hello, Mike. Yes, go. Go talk. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you? you. Absolutely. Hello, Mike. Yes, go. Would you start speaking? Yes, I will. Uh... Kevin in Manhattan. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Mike. How's it going? What's happening? Uh, before my Dolan point, I have to call you out for something you said earlier. Did I? Caller Brian. Yeah, caller Brian. Yeah, good. Uh, you, you claim that you let callers talk about anything with you, yet you refuse to answer questions about Artie Lang's podcast and how you were caught tongue kissing Dan Flato's tiny hole. 
see the, yeah, well, just dumb for all that. There's a guy, another guy who's just, you know, a fool. But again, you know, he doesn't get it on the air. That's what he doesn't realize. It gets beeped out because you have to have a delay for guys like that who are going to be vulgar on the air, you know, and no one hears it, though. That's the problem. Mike and Monroe, what's up, Mike? Yeah, hey, Mike, how you doing? What's happening? Uh, I just want to talk about uh, the Yankees before I get to my point about the Masters. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was pretty, I was doing a uh, Mount Rushmore of Yankees. Mount Rushmore? I, yeah, it's like the greatest four players I ever thought who played for them. The greatest four you thought? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I, this is not the greatest four. This is the four you think are the greatest four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think uh, you yeah, agree. Okay. Well, I got the, I got the babe. I got Garrett. Go ahead. I, th I think I know this has got to be I stupid. Got the Maggio, yeah, move I got, on. I got Jeter. Move on. Uh, move on. Let's go. Because I know that's G silly. Go, get to the masses. Let's go. How is that silly? It is because you know Jeter doesn't wait, go what, ahead what, what and mantle. Because you're just trying to you, start. You just starting this. To, how does he not go ahead? Okay. Ahead? Okay. 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 Let's let's do this for a second here now. Jeter goes ahead of Mantle. Yeah. And you're basing it on what premise? Uh, Mantle has a 298 lifetime average. 298 below, average. Okay. Below 300. It's below 300. Okay. Jeter 290. Above and Jeter, and Jeter, above 300 hitter. Who do you think got the highest on base percentage for their career? I think uh, Mantle didn't play as long. Right. Mantle didn't play as long? How long do you think Mantle played? He was hurt. How many years do you think Mantle played? Hurt. How many years do you, know, you think he played? You are always wrong about How many it. years you are, do you, you think Mantle played? You're wrong about Rutgers. How many, wait a second. Wrong. How many years did you wait, think wait second, Mantle played? Second, I, How I, many years do you think he played? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm only, I'm only wait a second. Years old. Wait a second. You, he, you never opened a book? I, I don't need to know that. You don't need it. Listen, listen you know, wait, wait what you don't know. Listen, I knew you were a moron as soon as you started. I should have got rid of you the first minute. Chris and Yonkers, what's up, Chris? Hey, good afternoon, Mike. What's happening? Uh, quick question for you. I agree with you, Aaron Rodgers, MVP. I think the only thing that could stop uh, Seattle and the NFC is Aaron Rodgers. So with that said, um, would it be crazy to not play Aaron Rodgers this weekend <laughs> and just, uh, well, dress him ready to go? Uh, and if things get out of You're control, kidding, right? get him in there. But, You're uh, kidding, right? You know. Well, did, did you prepare him to play, or did yes. you prepare the backup to play? But, who did you well, who did you prepare? Who did you build your coordination with? Who did you game plan with? Who did you prepare? Who did you uh, use the throws to, that you're going to use in the game plan? Who did you prepare your game plan for? Well, well I understand. Aaron well, Rogers, that's why but, he's the quarterback. Adam, what's okay. up? It, yeah. doesn't, it, it doesn't have to go that way. I know you're going to blast me for this, okay. but the solution is simple. Listen. Did you not say 20 minutes ago that the league admitted it was a mistake, it should have been a penalty? Yes. Then fix it. How do you fix it? Very simple. The commissioner overrules the play, and he puts those two teams back on the field when? tomorrow afternoon. Oh, no, come on now. This is football, no, no. buddy. You can't it do that. Listen, it that, that is ridiculous. That can't no, be done. It's not Ridiculous. Where are you putting it's him in your backyard? Ridiculous. Where are you putting exactly him? Exactly the solution. Where are you putting it's him exactly. in, a ba in your backyard? They could put them in the stadium and finish. What the stadium? Well, the alternative what that. stadium? An alternative to that. That's worse. What stadium are you putting them in? Would you be to award the hey, Mike? Could I please? I, I, I'll but but listen, up. some things are this, so ridiculous they don't deserve no, airing. The only reason you're saying it's ridiculous is because it has never happened. Okay, before. okay, let's let's, let's, follow let's follow it through for a second. Let's follow it. Let's follow it through for a second. You're going yes. to open the stadium and secure no the stadium. No fans. No fans. No fans. Okay, so no but fans. Me, number one. Plenty of TV cameras. Put wait a second. Where, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You think? Wait a second. You think the networks are going to cover one play? Are you kidding me? Not one play from the rest. The game starts and finishes from there. Listen, <laughs> it's so stupid it doesn't even deserve to be on the air, okay? Thanks. Take it somewhere else. Take it to the league. See how they like it. Uh, Jared and Teaneck, what's up, Jared? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. What's happening? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I just wanted your thoughts on the Seattle Packer game real quick. Uh, I'm kind of confused. In my opinion, uh Seahawks should be at least 10 to 14 point favorites in this game. I mean, How could you ever be 10 or 14 point favorites over Aaron Rodgers? Well, I'll tell you, Aaron Rodgers, is not, I was not very impressed with him. On oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Did, you just, did I just hear you say that you weren't impressed with him on Sunday? 
Sorry. Oh my God. I mean, I, listen, that might go down as the dumbest call of the year, right there. I mean, it, it, that's already in the clubhouse as the leader. Okay, uh, for this year, Aaron Rodgers wasn't impressive on Sunday. It, what would have impressed you? He was nine for nine in the fourth quarter. <laughs> he he wasn't impressive on Sunday. I, what, I don't I don't know what you would need then for a quarterback to do to impress you. He threw for three sixteen and three touchdowns and had a quarterback rating of one hundred twenty five uh, on one leg. I mean, exactly what would it take to impress you in a game? He wasn't impressive. Tim in Milford, Connecticut. What's up, Tim? Uh, yeah, Mike, how you doing? Good, what's happening? Great show, great show today. What's happening? I've been listening to you forever. I mm -hmm. uh, think that you're the best in the business, obviously. But And I never take issue with anything that you, that you mm -hmm. say on the show. But mm -hmm. I, I just uh, find it kind of to be a little bit annoying that you say uh, Dolva Dolva's name wrong. It's Dolva Dolva. Oh, who cares? Come on. Yeah. Come on. I mean, the guy's been around 10 minutes. Call him the big D yeah. if you want then, okay? <laughs> You, you know, do the same thing call, with Villanova too. I call him the call him funny. call him the <laughs> call him the big D if you want. Call him whatever, I, I, call him whatever you want. Don't waste my time with garbage. Bill joins us. What's up, Bill? Hey, hey, Mike. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, what's Let's happening? Go. Hey, um, I just had one small theory here um, on the play before or, or the second down play. Um, maybe Billichek has somehow. Um, crash the frequency and change the play somehow photoshopping his voice Carol's voice no you know play. listen let's like <laughs> you know listen no no one's getting see here's the thing everyone now is going to try to wait a way to minimize what the pats do the pats do take liberties that's the fact frank and fish kill what's up frank Hey, what's going on, Michael? First time, long time. Yeah, what's happening? Question. Yeah. What do you think the chances are that a player, you know, gets the itch this time of the year, comes out of retirement? What do you think the chances are that Derek Jeter plays shortstop for the Mets next year? Oh, I think, you know what? Honestly, Frank, I think probably at least 80%. That he plays shortstop for the Mets. As a matter of fact, I, I actually, I, no, I actually think that's a great idea. It's surprised no one's brought it up before. To me, it's a logical move. I, I think Derek did all that last year so that he could come out of retirement with a bold statement in May and run on out to the field at City Field because it's a lifelong dream to run out and play short for the Mets. So I thought I think it makes plenty of sense. I like it. Phil in Rockland County, what's up, Phil? Hey, don't Mike. Uh, my question is this: if if the Yankees put a Rod on waivers. Do you think somebody would pick him up? And no. If they, why not? Because they claim his contract. Well, that's well, that's one way the Yankees can wash their hands. How? Who, no one would claim him. Why not? He Be, has, he, because he's you have right to pay him. Well, they would have to pay part of his contract. No, no, contract? Have to pay, they get his contract. They get his contract. Yeah. So you don't think that's a possibility? Wait a second. Uh, think for a second. You're going to pay a 40-year-old man $62 million? Well, he's a drawer, isn't he? No, <laughs> not, you, no one in the world would ever touch that deal, ever. Well, what if he cleared waivers then? Then he would just have to remain with the team, right? Well, then he's a Yankee. All right, so then what, you got nothing to lose. But no one, it does, they could put him on waivers tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. No one's going to claim him. You'd never know he was on waivers. They could have put him on waivers a hundred times already. No one would claim him. And for the NFL draft this weekend, do you think they're concerned at all, like the Bruce Jenner story overpowering the NFL draft and taking some luster away from the draft this how, week? How would that possibly happen? Well, there's a rumor going on around online that that's why they moved the draft out in New York to Chicago. What, how, what, explain to me how that works. Because there's a lot of media in New York and a lot of media outlets are covering no the story in here. There's no media in Chicago? Not compared to New York. Really? So you think there are less people, so let, let me get this straight. You think there are less credentialed media at the NFL draft in Chicago than there are in New York? Well, they moved it because they don't want the story to overshadow the really, NFL they draft. Moved, they moved it last April for a story that's this week. Uh, well, really, he's been planning the book deal oh, for really, years. Yeah, listen, listen, George, you couldn't be a bigger fool. I mean, you couldn't come up with something that was dumber. You couldn't. I gave you a chance, actually, to try to be smart and connect the dots. You couldn't even connect them. 
Uh, John in Hasbrook Heights. What's up, John? Hey, Mike. Happy Monday. What's happy, up? happy Monday. Poetic justice. The reason why that wasn't a catch was because there wasn't interference or holding against the Lions. <laughs> Nah, listen, what goes around, the Cowboys handled it fine, though. They really did. They, I know, they didn't get upset. But, right, but all, but also, the, Jerry Jones said uh, Chris Christie was bring his mojo. Well, he can't because he ate all the mojo, the fat slob. All right. Fat slob. All right, great. So you got your point in about Chris Christie. I got that you're not voting for him if he runs for president. Robert Roselle, what's up, Robert? Mike, I'm going to give it to you from a different perspective. I grew up being abused by my father. Okay, mm -hmm. and my mom knew what was going on, uh, an, an authority figure. Um, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, teachers, neighbors, the police, all knew what was going on. Well, wait, how is that okay. possible? Well, because my mom was abused. Now, this is well, wait a second. What do you mean? You said your teachers and the police knew what was going on. The yes, police, let, the this, police this condoned 19, it. This was from 1963 to 1978. And the police condoned it. The police would not do anything because you were not allowed to press charges unless you were 18. All right. I mean, it's a okay. terror. All right. Okay. This is what happened. <laughs> and uh, so I'm telling you, our neighbors knew. My mom's family knew. My father's family knew. Teachers knew. And um, this is back to the 70s. If you go to the Godfather movie, you know, don't get involved. So everyone knew what was happening in our house, but nobody stepped in until I killed them. I killed him in self-defense when I was 14 years old. Well, this is a time, I and this is, how do I know? I See, I, the problem is I can't take this as being a real story. I don't know if this is a real story or not. So, I mean, that's why I, need, I can't verify it, okay? And um, I, I, without going on, you know, I, I, you know, show me the documentation. Please send it to me. Uh, Jared and Salington, what's up? Michael, how are you? Good, what's up? Uh, quick two-part question. First off, at this point in the season, top just rapid fire, top three, who, who would you vote for NFL MVP right now? Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, one, two. Okay, more importantly, who would your top three NHL MVP be? I have no idea. I mean, the NHL just started. Who cares? It's, uh, a, it's, well, a, it's a full season. The NFL season's half over. The NHL season's a couple of days over. It's a, a couple of days old. It's a silly question. A lot of people, a lot of people. It's a, it's a silly question. Go ahead. What's the next I, one? It's I a silly go, question. Go ahead. What's that? I would go cross me. I, I, would, I said it's a silly question. Move on. Okay. Well, that was it. That was my... Story. Okay, good. Yeah, I got the first one. This Mike on a cell phone. What's up, Mike? Oh, hey, Mike. How's it going? How are you? Show? Good. My my little my my kid. He's uh, two years old. He 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 love. He knows when you're coming on. He watches the TV. He says, "Oh, oh look, there goes uh, Tony Uncle Kike's on." He calls he calls you Tony Uncle Kike. Hey. All right. Tell him thank you. He's a, he, he's so funny. He loves your show. Uh, you know, it's too bad. I I uh, when I take a shower, I can't listen to you. You know, I wish I could listen to you when I take a shower. You know. This is uh, I I got I, I I don't know where we were going there. We were going somewhere weird. Mike in the Bronx. What's up, Mike? <laughs> I don't know how to say this without just being blunt. You're lying. I'm lying about what? Oh, uh, that's oh. So uh, I, I thought the guy was telling me I'm lying. Mike in Manhattan. What's up, Mike? Yeah, hi, Mike. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, what's happening? Um, I was wondering if you know so much about sports, how can you know you became like a head coach or something? Why did I become a head coach? Um, yeah, you know. I mean, I don't know. I wound up being a broadcaster. I, I really didn't. I really didn't. I never really had a chance, or gotten to that end of the business. Thought about it a few times, but that's a long time ago. But you know, you had to, you know you, breaking in in those days was very hard. Almost went into it once. Almost went once. Nineteen. Almost went into the team once. Um, what year? I can't remember. Um, uh, Mike in Rockville Center. What's up, Mike? Hey, Mike. Happy Easter. Thank you. You too. What's up? Uh, you look great on Fox Sports 1 today. I got to tell you. Oh, thank you. Oh, because I'm, yeah. I'm still dressed. I didn't change yet. But I, I, I won't be here like this all day. I promise. Go ahead. What's up? Oh, Mike, come on. Keep it yeah, on. You look no, great. Thanks. No, thanks. Go ahead. What's up? I actually want to, want to ask you a question about uh, I saw St. John's yesterday with Chris Mullen mm -hmm. at a press conference. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Got me as uh, Johnny fan really fired up. Um, I was going to say, I saw some of his assistant coaches. Uh, he brought in the guy from Iowa State. Yes. Uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe a couple other guys still the staff. Yeah, maybe Ed Pinkney, maybe a guy like Artie Lang or Jason Giambi. All right, so now that you waste that. I knew he was going to waste our time. I just wanted to see when, you know, so.
I mean, I, kn I knew that was the case, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Scott in Greenwich. Go ahead, Scott. What's on your mind? Hey, Mike. How's it going? Go, what's happening? Hey, so I just want to get your point is that if you're in a prolific position like Dolan, um, if you're in a public can, position, when, you don't when, take on a fan base. It doesn't. It's it, it. There's no. There's nothing to be gained from going after the public. No, it no, just doesn't make sense. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you fell asleep on air, you call people morons and jerks all the time. Uh, I don't call people morons and jerks. Are you kidding me? I don't call people? anybody a moron unless uh, My, unless people? they are argumentative with me first. And oh, I've been doing this. On. Let me ask something. How would I last 30 years doing this and be rated first for 30 years if people didn't appreciate the show? Explain that to me. I mean, I'm not saying they Explain, don't appreciate it. Well, well, then why, do they appre why would they appreciate it if, they, if I just sat here and called people names? Why would they appreciate it? See, so your take is is a negative one for some reason, but your depiction no, actually, of your Mike, depiction of the or, show. Or well, you'd be pretty you'd be pretty silly to be a fan if that was the depiction of what I well, did. I think it's hypocritical. No, well, no, what you, no, 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 no. I don't unless they're argumentative. Yes, do. No, I do not. I do not. No, I. Do you know how many calls I take in a week? They tried to have fun with you. Do you know how many calls I take in a week? You see, you're just wasting everybody's time. Okay, you know, you're not a fan, which is fine. You're not a fan. You've called before. I know who you are. Do you think I don't know the callers who are ones that try to cause trouble? I understand that. I let you on the show, though, don't I? Because I don't worry about that stuff. But if that was a true depiction of the show, I wouldn't be on 30 years. Tim in Connecticut. What's up, Tim? Yeah, how you doing? All he does, all he ever does is talk about Wally back. That's it. Unbelievable. That's what it's all about. But that's okay. He's allowed. <laughs> nice to have you on Fox Sports 1 today. That's a good surprise. Thank you. I'm going to get to that in a second. Can I ask you a quick question here? I keep on hearing all, yesterday and all day today the stupid uh, emoji or whatever. What the heck is that? Is that something to do with the Twitter? It has something to do with uh, Chevrolet. A Chevrolet? Yes. And what is it? It's a Chevy commercial. I can't figure it out. What is it, uh, emoji? Yeah, what the heck is it? It's that little thing on your uh, computer. Yeah, you know the little guy. Like if you get, a, if you get somebody sends you a message, is that, you have a, do you have a text message? Yeah, of course. All right. When someone sends you like a thumbs up or something like that, yeah, you know how someone does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, an emoji. That oh, so there's like a whole screen. You push the buttons or something. No, that thing is called an emoji. That little oh, thing you see you. is an emoji. All right, sorry to waste your time. On yeah, that. well, but, uh, no, listen. I mean, that's they're, <laughs> they're paying for the for you to ask that question. You know. Oh, so I guess it's working. Then, it huh? did. You you, you felt yeah, they love you now because they actually got you to think about the emoji. They're happy. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Yes. Maybe they should pay me for it. No, 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 they're not going to do that. They pay me for it. They're not going to pay you for it. Audie in Brooklyn, what's up, Audie? Hey, how's it going, Mike? What's happening? You know, this lineup that the Mets got is just killing me. It killed me last year, and it's killing me now. And, and this is even worse, because at least when they had the hot up ninth, I was like, well, man. What, tell really me, what, what, what you, what's your problem? Which part of the lineup do you not you, like? Well, the, the problem is that you're putting your, your pitcher... You're putting your picture up before the guy that you're putting in a shortstop because he's an offensive hitter. I mean, if it was the harder, that's one thing. But the reason why Flores is playing is for his offense, and now you're putting the picture up ahead of him. How does that make any sense? Uh, I, it makes no sense, Mike. Come on, it makes no sense. He's right. You're right. You're right. You know what's going to happen? You are right. When G, is, when G is pitching, they're not going to put G up at the ace. They're not. Well, no, they, they don't put Cologne up. They put on, They don't put Cologne up eighth either. That's why right. this whole thing doesn't no. make sense because no it's sense at all. well, and it's a, it's a, it's a mess. theory. It's a theory that was started by Tony La Russa, but it doesn't make sense from this standpoint. If the idea is to get your better hitter more at bats, why would you bat the Grom in front of Flores? Right. That's exactly what somebody asked that question. You, it's a <laughs> you it's me. Yeah. Hi, Mike. <laughs> he's, but he's right. Ken on the call phone. What's up, Ken? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. Just want to talk about uh, how I don't think the Mets are gonna re-sign David Wright. But I, I also, real quick, I also know you're a big movie buff, and for the kids, you should probably watch the Smurfs because they probably love Sleepy. It's just like their dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, another real good joke. Yeah, yeah uh, no, it's great. Use a Smurf joke because that's really, you know, what? that really ties into our audience because we got a lot of five and six year olds l listening in our audience. You know, 
But it really does works. You really you hit the audience right on the head because that really is our core audience, the five and six year olds. You know, right after they get out of nursery school, they're they're, they're dying to get to the phones and, and get to the show. Well, Charlie in Queens, what's up, Charlie? Hey, what's up? It's going. What's that up? NFL Network, Mike? It's a snooze fest anyway. The NFL Network half the time. Come on. No, you need games. They got games every week now on it, though. Well, but I'm saying when there's not a game on, and then yeah, but now they have a game every week. Now, but then nine months out of the year, it's a real snooze fest. You're better off MSG Network. You watch old Sleepy Floyd, Akeem the Dream. You know what I mean? And that guy wanting Paterno would be in trouble. Well, let, let's 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 see let's see how many how many references you can make till the audience realizes what you're doing. Well, what do you think, Charlie? The guy was you the guy fool. Was... What's up, Melvin? Yes, Melvin. Melvin, are you just going to breathe or what? Hello? Hello? All right, I, I guess Melvin went to sleep. Wherever Melvin went. You there, Melvin? Who is this? All right, goodbye. Sorry, Melvin. We can't wait for this to happen. Colby in Brooklyn. What's up, Colby? Hey, Mike. How you doing? How are you? Uh, good. I'm not asleep yet. Sorry. Yeah, that guy, was, I think he went to sleep on the line, I think. Well, yeah, good. Milan in uh, New Jersey. What's up? What's up, Mike? Uh, we'll talk about the coaching jobs. Yeah, good. Uh, well, we got Lovey Smith signing with the Bucks. Right. We got Bill O'Brien, college coach, signing with the uh, Texans. Now with the Giants sending Bill Bright out, you think Sandusky got a chance to be become the new offensive coordinator? He waited on the line. He waited on the line a half hour to make that contribution to the program. I'm saying he could do a book a lot. I mean, seriously. I know it's a snow day, but go shovel. He's need to go shovel somebody's walk. Go out there and do something. Like, add some kind of like, add something to humanity more than wasting your time for an half hour to stay on the line. That guy's on the line for maybe 45 minutes to get on there. And his contribution is, I think Sandusky can be the offensive coordinator. It's all hysterical. It can make us all really laugh. We're all really impressed by your wit. It was very impressive display. It really was. Well, Damien in New Hampshire. What's up, Damien? How you doing, Mike? What's happening? Man, I say we don't get down as Yankee fans. I say we look towards the future. And the Texas Rangers just aren't going to do it. And we may see, you know, it could very well be. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Go, yes, go ahead. Now, just what's your point? The future could be Albert Pujols in a Yankee uniform. We could be taking a look well, at Let me ask him, what is he going to do? With, what are you doing with Teixeira? What's he going to do? He's going to be the pitch, swung on and driven deep. It is high. It is far. Oh, it's... come on now. I knew that guy was a problem as soon as he called. Audie in Union, what's up, Audie? What's up, buddy? What's up? So this is a Yankee fan talk, and it's not a sports expert. I'm not Francesca, I'm not the mad dog, I'm nobody. I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan that spent a lot of money on the Yankees, yeah. here's my opinion. I just want to masturbate, that's all I want to do. <laughs> I'm talking about being a Yankee fan, the guy turned out to be a moron. Rockway Beach, what's up, Jimmy? What's up, Mike? How you doing? First time, long time. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to hear about the trade between the Mets and the Twins. I haven't heard of any. There are no first, first week of the season trade rumors. Yeah. Yeah, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're offering the Mets a ham and cheese sandwich for Lucas Duda. All right. That's great. That's great. I knew it was going to. I don't know why I waited. Uh, I really don't know why I waited. I should have gone before, but, you know, that's fine. That, what do you expect? Uh, uh, Jack on the cell phone. Jack, what's going on today? Hey, Mike, I want to slap your butt cheeks. Okay, I heard that from Jack on Saturday. Here is uh, nicely produced Mike and Yonkers. Mike, what's going on today? Hey Jack's, Jack's got to have something better to do. What's He's up, got guys? it. I'm a, I'm Babylon, what's up, Nick? Yeah, you know, you got the Rangers playing for the Stanley Cup for the first time in 20 years. Yeah. You got another classic NBA final set. Yeah, you do. Between the Heat and the Spurs. Yeah. You got a horse running for the Triple Crown yes, for the first time in 35 years? Uh, 36. Okay, and you open up whining about how boring the Yankees are? Nick, you know, Nick, get lost. You know what? I, I waited for an hour, and I'm glad you did, because you don't deserve to be on the station. You know that? Don't tell me how to run a show, okay? And hey, Nick, yesterday I took calls from everybody who said the Knicks were a laughing stock, they were going to win 20 games, blah, 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 blah. And a day later now, I'm sure I get yeah. calls today that people are going to say the Knicks are going to win 50 games. So, I mean, yeah. that's what happens Mike, in one day. Mike, you look really fat in your costume. Right, so there's a nice Halloween call from some 12-year-old. Louis in Staten Island, what's up, Louis? Yeah, how are you? What a, what a moron. Well, he said, there's one, there's one problem. We're not on TV. 
Yeah. So, I mean, so that. Yeah. We're on Fox Sports 2, which basically no one in New York sees, so he didn't see me on TV today because I'm not on TV today. So that's okay. Right. Jake in Queens. What's up, Jake? Hey, Mike. How's it going? Good, fam. Thanks. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, um, with Burnett, you know, well, first of all, I just want to say I am very happy that the mayor with the city, hello? Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, with the city nowadays that you can, you know, get legally married if you're with your partner if you're a gay man. And I know you're very happy because you can marry Minko now. That's oh, just stupid. I mean, you want to... So here's a guy who stays on the phone for an hour to say that he's happy now that in New York City I could marry Minko. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You, first of all, the material's terrible. It's not even funny. Secondly, imagine waiting an hour to do that. I mean, my God, it's not insulting. Miko's a wonderful man. He's not my type, but I mean, he's a wonderful guy. He's a nice guy. I've known him a long time. He's been with me forever. But I mean, is that supposed to be like either it's not insulting and it's not funny? Rick and Charlotte, what's up, Rick? My princess, how are you, sir? What's happening? The best thing going to that, Mike. Listen, Mike, I love you, pal. But if you think the 49ers, Daddy, are going to walk into Charlotte, North Carolina, and walk that aisle and take out the Panthers, who have all the momentum going right now, Mike, I got a sad thing to tell you, my friend. I think you're sadly, sadly mistaken. All right, so there's a, I hope you're at least going to the game. Oh, Mike, let me tell you something. Charlotte's going all night long. I mean, the bars, oh, no restrictions on the hours. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What, happen, what, happen, what, what happens if the Tar Heels are playing when the Panthers are playing? What happens? Mike, Tar Heels, short line. No one cares about that in the short term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike, we all know. Mike, you, we all. We Mike. all. We all know that. We all know that's not a fact. Okay. We all, we all know that. Not down there. Gunner in Buffalo. What's up, Gunner? Hey, what's going on, Mike? Thanks for having me out. What's happening? Hey, uh, I mean, at what point does Girardi just pull the plug on A-Rod? I mean, do enough one. is enough, right? Let's do one. I, I mean, you got to bench him. It's almost like he was asleep at the plate, but, I mean, you, so other gonna, people fall asleep at work, right? You're going to you're gonna bench A-Rod. You're going to bench A-Rod. And I, I, you think that's good. Listen, I've been sitting here 25 years ago doing this every day, okay? Uh, I have a career and a performance level that uh, has garnered me many, many awards and, and plenty of satisfaction. If you think... A bob from you is going to bother me. You got to be kidding. So you want to continue the conversation? Go ahead. I, I, I'll continue. The, I Go mean, ahead. You, you got to be out of your mind. You think someone like you is going to offend you? I mean, you got to be out of your mind. I mean, I'm come not on. To, I'm not yeah, yes, you were. Yes, you were trying to be offensive, but that's fine. That's fine. Now continue your point. You and Nyack, what's up, Benny? Hey, Mikey, big Rangers fan. Yes. Uh, Ninety-four. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with Diet Coke? Why do you keep drinking that stuff? Uh, you know, why would you call? In the middle of this, I gave you a chance to come on and call, and you call about about diet soda. What do you do? I mean, some people are just so, so, such fools. It's just unbelievable. Dave, a cell phone. What's up, Dave? I'm trying to reach you. It's tough to get this president. Ah, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. No, I don't know who it is, but the more I talk to you, the more I feel like you just don't want to go along with me. Is that it? Excuse me? The people about me behind my hat going over my head. I can't hear him. I keep losing him. Yeah, I keep I, I I would like to understand what he was saying, but I couldn't I couldn't make him out. I apologize there. The great Mike Francesa, Francesa, a legendary guy, um, and uh, he made another phony phone call getting in. When he gets Francesa, Francesa has no more patience for this anymore. He's he's done this about fifteen times, and, <laughs> and Francesa is on his very last uh, right. very last nerve. Yeah. Go ahead. Dan of Flushing, what's up, Dan? <laughs> hey, Mike, um, what would it take for you to let Dan Pilato suckle your man boobs? Are you letting kill all posers? <laughs> no, no, you see, that guy calls everything. You gotta block that guy. Is that guy's number? Just block him. Block his number. He calls him. I don't what you're saying about I mean, he calls everything. <laughs> Are you getting blamed for that? Is Francesca's... Well, Francesca here? says, what is all he, he plays... Uh, <laughs> on other times, he goes, oh, what is, what is all he pat you on the head for that or something? <laughs> what do you go, one running back to Arnie, pat you on the head? And listen, and I don't give him anything, and I don't encourage it, but in a way, we do it because we play on the <laughs> All right, if uh, you consider yourself a tough grader for the Hall of Fame, right? Uh, yeah, I would say. Yeah, the Baseball Hall of Fame, right? Yeah, I would say, yeah. If there was a if there was a Hall of Fame for like uh, stuttering and repeating yourself, would you put yourself in it? Yeah, I I, I don't I've never stuttered a day in my life. Not, oh, not you once. repeat yourself and stutter a lot, Mike. I'm worried for you. You know what I mean? What do you do for a living? 
What's up? What do you do for a living? Uh, I've been doing a couple of things. No, wait, wait a second. Are you ashamed? Are you, are you, are you, are you, wait, 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 wait a second. What do you do for a living? Uh, you know, I'm an umpire. For a, that's your, that's your full game, full employment is your an umpire? No, not necessarily. You see, well, why are you, ashamed, are you ashamed of what you do for a living? No. Then I what is it? Five, wait a second. Five, what five, is, five, is it? You know, what you is, what I mean now. wait a second. What I said was, what do you do for a living? I work in construction. For a living, that's my main job, construction. Well, why were you embarrassed to say so? Because, I mean, seasonal work, it comes and goes, you know. So, so, you, really so, so, so you don't have a job? Well, I do have a job. I feel I mean, bad I for you if you don't have a I, I feel bad for you that, that you don't have a job. But what I would say is, listen, if you can keep your job as long as I have, you'd be in good shape. So don't worry about my job, okay? Thanks. Tom in the Bronx. What's up, Tom? Mike, how are you today? Hey, what's happening? Two things. I, I, I want to praise you as being the best at what you do in the business you're in. I bring up a point, and I also want to tell you a way I think it can be better. Uh, number one, your point about Rex Ryan not really uh, coming to terms with all the nuances of the head coaching position is so 100% correct, and, and that's why part of the reason – his success early has started to wane because he does not. I think a guy like you pointing that out shows uh, how wonderfully astute you could be. But if I can ask you on a personal note, can you be a little bit more polite at the some of the callers? If you ever listen to yourself back, you've lost your charm ever since you went solo. And I don't know what it is. It, I know some callers call up and then it just hacks and they're ridiculous. A lot of people are angry, angry with you because of your behavior, and I just don't understand why you have to be so nasty. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I, well, listen, you missed your I, meal today, you fat slob. I, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm nasty at all. I think I'm. I think I'm argumentative sometimes. I don't think I'm nasty. I think I'm always a gentleman. I'm always a gentleman. Steve joins us. What's up, Steve? Hey. Uh, yes. First of all, I want to say that Brady and the two guys are totally, totally innocent. How are they innocent? Let me tell you why. Yeah, let me hear this one. This is good. Let me hear how they're innocent. Go ahead. All right. Mother Nature, over the last hundred years, every time there's a football filled at 12.5, and it goes outside stop, to a cold stop, temperature. Stop, stop, stop before you embarrass yourself. Stop. Stop, stop no, now. Stop. Don't give me atmosphere. Years. Don't know give me atmosphere. You, you know, what you know is that you're a fan who's a fool. You no, tell me I've this. Well, let me in. Well, listen, Steve. Let me tell you why Well, wait a second. This did, isn't the whole reason. Did, Let me say the he, did he take the balls and order the equipment guy to alter them? No. No? What do you mean, no? I'll tell you what, what happened in the Steve, World Report. Steve, are you, are you going to tell me you looked at the evidence and you don't think he had someone doctor the balls? I looked at the evidence, and Wells made a mistake on the evidence. Let he me made a mistake? It. Why didn't Brady turn his phone over? It's a kangaroo court. I what do you mean it's a, how is the NFL a kangaroo court? Could you please let me explain why, no, why he's No, I don't want to hear this garbage. Give me an answer to the questions I asked you. I'd like to tell you. I don't want your math equations. Tell me, you just told me he didn't doctor the balls. That is correct. Did you read the evidence? I read it all. And you think that Tom Brady did not instruct those guys to, to, uh, to doctor the balls? That is correct. What are you, nuts? No, I'm. I I'm, mean, you're. Uh, a, go, go tell someone else, then, please. I try to get through to you on Friday before. Uh, I know you got a lot of guests on Friday, but uh, you almost put your signature of approval on the uh, Colts devastating the Raiders on Friday. I did. I picked the Colts to win. You sure did. When you when you were so sure. I almost called Chase up and told him I want uh, all the action. Oh, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You know, uh, right? Keep going against me all year. See what happens, okay? All right. So, oh, excuse me. The Colts won, but they didn't cover the point spread. Excuse me. They were up 14 nothing in the first quarter. Okay. They, oh, and the Raiders, Raiders played fairly well. Their quarterback ran around on the Colts a little bit. So, the Ra Colts only won by four points. Excuse me. Jeez. Okay. Brian in Manhattan. What's up, Brian? Hi, Mike. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. What's happening? Wanted to talk this year's uh, quarterback draft prospects, and particularly how the, the Jets could be in play for for one of them. So you have you have Manziel and Bridgewater look highly polished, but will obviously be gone. You have these guys Carr and Bortles, who are unknown quantities, who will also probably be, go before the Jets do. 
So my question for you is... I don't love car, boy. My question I, I, for you I, is... I like, I like bottles. I don't, either. I don't, I don't either. love car. I don't love car. But my question for you really is, how much will it snow tonight? What a fool. I mean, I, I'm actually trying to come here and talk sports and do something, and I got a guy who comes in with that. Brian in Middletown. What's up, Brian? Hey, Mike, that's a different Brian the previous call. Hey, listen, yeah. I'm a Michigan fan. You're the one that maybe has a brain. Go ahead. What's happening? <laughs> Jamal in Queens, what's up, Jamal? Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, what's happening? A quick question. I'm yeah. just going to ask you and hang up. Um, this is the year of expectation for the Mets. Right. I mean, it's been very well discussed about the Wilpon financial uh, troubles dating back to perhaps the Madoff thing and the expense of the stadium. And I'm just wondering if they get out slow out the gate and attendance is down, do you think it's possible that City Field – might get struck by some Jewish lightning. I'm gonna hang up and listen. Thank you. He waited. Uh, he waited for two hours to make that call. What's up, Brian? How you doing, Mike? Good, thank you. What's up? Look, man, let's cut to the truth here. Get, get right down to it. Yeah, let's go. You guys in the media. Uh, we guys, yeah. Yes, okay. you. Right. Yeah. I mean, you act like you're Mona Lisa Vina. Yeah. You okay. think you know everything. Right, right, yeah, okay, okay go ahead. Okay, look, let me right, tell you. Right, right, you guys, now, now, see how you can figure out a way to spin this that we did this. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, well, yeah, I am. Mean, I'm not oh, okay. oh, really? Okay. I'm going to tell okay. you the truth. Right, so, okay, you got the truth. Yeah, I got the let's truth. Let's hear it, you Brian. Hear yeah, it? yeah, I want to hear it. Come on. You guys in the media ain't got the balls to tell the truth. Okay. The truth of the matter is, mm-hmm. you despise the New England Patriots oh, really? for one reason and one What's reason that? only. What's that? You do not like the racial makeup of the offense or the racial what? makeup of that team. They're not diverse enough for oh, the yeah. media. Listen, and Brian, this is why you Brian, attack them on a daily Brian, basis. Can you be a, can you be a bigger fool? Or what? You, you are can you a be? Can you be a bigger fool? Who, who, a, so wait a second. Your your answer to to this to the, your answer the to their cheating. Not, your okay, answer so your answer, answer to their wait, wait a second. Your wait, answer wait, to wait, their, wait, wait, wait a second. Your answer, answer, answer your answer to their it's cheating. You, wait a second. Your days. answer. Listen. How come you didn't find with Tiger Woods signed a scorecard at the Masters? When Tiger Woods signed the incorrect scorecard right. at the Masters, right. you never said anything about that. How do you know I didn't? That's right. How do you know I didn't? You didn't say nothing about You didn't Tyler listen. You didn't listen. Wait a second. Wait a second. You have a problem with... Wait a second. You have a problem with Tiger Woods? How about the... No, I've got a problem with Wait, you, wait a second. Now, now I got it. Now I got your number. Now I got the number. Now I got it. Okay. They, they, they did not grasp the idea of it being in any way competitive or anything else. They just really had a very, they kind of hit out a little bit by the whole hey, what's thing. what's going on with Keith Hernandez? Is he back on the uh, Yayo? The Coke? He sounds all wild. Uh, it, 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 I mean, he knew that guy was a fool, but it, 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 it took a little time to prove it. Uh, Mike in Red Hook, what's up, Mike? Hey, Mike. Uh, is this true about California Tom? I read this in the paper that they gave him uh, Coke injections to make him run faster. They gave him what? Ryan Cole to make him run faster. Oh, I, 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 somehow I didn't read that one. Look, what's up, Jose? Oh, uh, yeah, Mike. I was just wondering if you think that uh, Aaron Rodgers drinks uh, Diet Coke. Who would care? Why would we care? All right. His question was, does Aaron Rodgers drink Diet Coke? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, why don't you ask Aaron Rodgers? How would I know? Uh, Mike on Long Island. What's up, Mike? Yes, Mike. Oh, sorry about that. I uh, fell asleep when you started talking about Sweeney Murdy. Oh um, God! You know, listen. I just, I, I'm not. Listen. You, once uh, the next one is gone. Well, you're gone anyway because I'm not in the mood. Uh, Ralph and Mignola, what's up, Ralph? Hey, Mike. Uh, I enjoyed your interview with Len uh, Berman very much. Thanks. What's up? Um, I have two quick things if I may. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, I finally saw that Pacquiao fight, and uh, when he got knocked out, it looked like, just like you during the Sweeney Murdy phone call. Are you? Well, I knew I was waiting for something, but go ahead. I mean, another guy waits for it. It's the same guy who waited. He waited an hour this time. I didn't get his joke on. Dave in Buffalo, what's up, Dave? Hi, how are you? Uh, excuse me, how are you doing? Good, Dave. What's up? Uh, uh, no, I just wanted to say that, you know, that we're really proud of our Bills, and we just wish they'd get a little more notoriety. I mean, I mean when uh, people down in the city down there say uh, the Bills, they're up north. We're not up north. We're west, 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 northwest, you know. We're just Western New York, and uh, you know we don't get any of the primetime games. 
We don't get the Sunday night games. We don't get the Monday night games. How many years has it been since you had a winning team? Uh, true, but I've seen a lot of losing teams that are still getting primetime games, Ooh. like the Jets, like the Jets. Why the Jets <laughs> were in a championship three years ago. I know, but for the last two years, they've had a lot of primetime games, and they're still getting them. They're, uh, they're in a city called New York. Well, we're in the state of, we're the only team in the state of New York. You're in, so, a, <clears throat> you're in the boondocks. So we're in the state of New York. We're the only one in the state of New York, no matter where Dave, you want to call Dave, it. Dave, listen, Dave. Yes. Dave. Come on now, huh? You're okay, in I'm Buffalo. Ready. They played a heck You're of a football game. You're in Buffalo, though. You, you want to compare Buffalo to New York City? Oh, uh, uh, New York City needs us. I know that. <laughs> New York <laughs> City. Ex explain. Ex please, Dave, quickly explain to me why New York City needs Buffalo. Well, I can tell you there's truckload after truckload after truckload of product that's grown up here in western New York that's shipped to New York City. Oh, stop, Dave. So we can't get care. anywhere. What, what, what product is it we got to get from Buffalo we can't get from anywhere else? Uh, cows. <laughs> you don't have too many of them running around Manhattan. So uh, wait, wait, the only place in America to get cows is from Buffalo? No, but they, the milk comes up from this area. The cows come up from this area. Wait, they don't the have any. They don't, wait, they, don't, they don't have any. They don't have any cows before Buffalo. Like if you go up, say to outside Albany, you think I can find some cows up there? Uh, you don't get many shipped down. They all come from Buffalo. You don't. There's no one. No one up there makes any. There's no cows anywhere near. Let me tell you something good about Buffalo. Yeah, please tell me something okay, good about Buffalo. I'll tell you something good. You good. If you were on Walden Avenue in Buffalo, you would be very, very upset. So all you just said, garbage, tell me all something garbage, good. All the garbage from New York City gets shipped by train. And those How is that something living, good about Buffalo? We're accepting your garbage. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask you to accept it. John in uh, Westchester, what's up, John? Uh, hey, Mike. I have what's a question happened? for you. Yes. You said that Colin, Tapper, Colin Tappercock is a big man. What did you mean by that? <laughs> uh, you're a moron. I mean, that's it. Just bleep that out. There's a guy on Sunday morning who's got to find something else to do. Ralph and Mignola, go ahead, Ralph. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, what's happening? Um, my brother, he works for Lipa. Mm -hmm. He says that they're setting up a special hotline for people without power. I have the number here if you want me to give it out. And what is this hotline going to do? It's just for people specifically without power still. It's just going to, I guess it's a faster way to get through. And, they, and they're going to tell them what? Yeah, when you call it, what happens? Well, it, it, to keep the call volume down on the regular line, they're, they're, they're making a, a separate line specifically for people still without power. Right, but who would be calling other than people who don't have power? Why would anybody else call? Well, there's other people who, who have problems with their billing and things like Not that. Not now. I mean, you're going to tell me someone's calling during a crisis to uh, talk about their bill? Yeah, Artie Lango, he calls and talks about his bill all the time. Oh, uh, so you're just a fool. You mean, you, Dan Pilato's the head canal power. You know, the amazing thing is, wait a second, you, so you made that, you don't even have a number? Yeah, I do, 888. You see, you know what, the, the idea that a fool like you would get, and you know what, the idea that whoever would put you up to this would do this when people are having a crisis just shows... Really, you'd have to be a total moron to do that, okay? Uh, Butch in uh, New York. What's up, Butch? Hey, what's up, Mike? How what's you doing? Good, Butch. What's happening? Real quick, I just want to ask you, what do you think the chances of Chip Chipperson making it to the Hall of Fame? Who? Um, when, when, uh, when, at least for next year. Who are we talking about? Chip Chipperson. What do you think he, he, I don't even know who he is. Who are we talking about? Man, some guy making up a name. We got enough to do here today without doing that. Jay What's up, Stan? Hey, Mike. I'm afraid after you got yelling there, I got a little scared about calling you. But um, uh, what's my call there? I, I heard a couple things. Um, but the first thing is explain. Am I? I talked to you once in a while. I don't know if you realize that or not. Mm -hmm. But uh, this Mongo thing what is it Mongo, it's a, it's basically a uh, and don't hang up good please because i have a question yeah just uh, i'm answering your question um it is basically the social you know what social media is sure okay well that's what it is it's internet it's twitter it's the followers of the show who are on twitter every day and the internet they're quite a large following and they so they like to converse the fan? excuse me it's just with the fan yeah, it's they're a bunch of fans. They're a bunch of they're they're part of the audience. Okay. 
So um, you don't seem like you're too into it. So why? I, I don't know what you. I don't know what your question is. Um, like you know, it's so it's just you guys with WFAN. No, they're just followers of the program, of my program. Of the, so it's, it's it's of your program. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Because I wasn't. I was hoping it wasn't one of those nutlayer programs. Um, but what do you call it? So why? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you seem negative about it. Mm, about the about about the inter, about the follow the internet following. Yeah, no, like, you I know, haven't been. Like, I, I'm I'm not negative about it. I mean, what's happening? This is Bubba from Far Rockaway. I live in Jamaica now. Okay. <laughs> okay. You send me that stuff with you and Dog back around the uh, early millennium. Gotcha. But what I want to say to you is, me and you are St. John's alum. I'm Cor- St. John's prep. You're St. John's period Correct. university. Yes. But trust me, this this NCAA tournament. It ain't gonna be Kentucky. Because the ref already it's... set the tone that they're gonna steal it somehow, so, some way. But I don't want to. So the official, the officials are gonna. The officials are gonna. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Make your point. Go back. Make your point. Make your point. Go ahead. You and 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 Herb Cross and 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 you know all the people with CBS back then. What's your other point? Go ahead. What's your other point? Yeah, when you spill that, stool, I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go ahead. What else? You, you tell me what else you want to talk so about. I love your ocean side. Cut it out. All right. But this is what I want to say. Go ahead, say it. All right. Let me collect my thoughts because you just distracted me. You got one more, uh, one more shot. So go ahead. I know you. Get ready. Go, to go no, to go, go, Mike. go, 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 go. Mike. Let's go. Mike, you like a brother to me, man. I appreciate it very much. Thirty some years. There you do. I've been okay. You when you was an intern. Okay. Let's go. So, so I'm giving you another yeah, chance, yeah, Bubba. Yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. Say something. All right. Chris in Queens. What's up, Chris? Hey, Mike. How are you? What's happening? All right. Going to the Yankee game tonight. Got my glove with me. I was wondering, what, what do you think about A Rod tonight? What do you think he's going to do? How would I know what he's going to do tonight? I mean, he's. <laughs> how would I know, how would I know what he's going to do tonight? But what do you talk about the Yanks in the minor leagues? They got the two catchers, Romaine and, and Montero. Sure. They also got, say, for example, in Double A in Trenton, Jeff Calvert with the nasty knuckle curveball, this kid, Jeff Calvert. Guys like that is, you know, we're talking lifestyle issue. Am I wrong? With, with Lee? Yeah, well, well, Jeff Calvert. Jeff Calvert Montero, they both got lifestyle issues. What do you mean lifestyle issues? Uh, just what you're talking about. I think you have a lifestyle issue. Oh, I don't know. What are you what are you talking about? I mean, you're just being a fool now. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. You know? I don't know. I I, I thought he was being serious. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. You know? Clippers are not going to go near Carmelo Anthony if they think there's a chance in the world LeBron James is available. What about the Golden State Warriors going out to Cecil Fielder? What? I mean, I guess you're just trying to be stupid. I mean, I guess. I don't, I don't get it. Let's go to uh, Nick in Babylon. Nick, what's happening? Yeah, I hear you talking about the silly things that Vital said and the ridiculous predictions that Villas made. Well, not the prediction, just that Villas was so angry about VCU. I understand, I understand yeah. that, but I, I, I never, I don't recall you ever once going back the following day and going, saying, boy, was I wrong, boy, oh, was I stupid yeah. for burying this team. Yeah, and, and I, 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 yeah I, You I, make I, a million I, pronouncements, yeah. 99% of them are wrong. 99, you, you really think 99? Say, boy, was I stupid. Yeah. I opened my big fat mouth. I didn't know what I was talking about. Did you make your point? Did you? How come you never say that? Why don't you ever talk about yourself for once? I, I, well, because you're a big blowhard. That's it. That's why. That's why. Thanks. I got the point. Okay. I got the point. Marcy in Bayside joins us. Marcy, what's up? Yeah, hey, Mike. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, first of all, I saw Argo and I loved it, but it was not as good as Artie Lang's beer line. Rock from Bayside, Artie Lang. Oh, God. Now, imagine a, imagine a young lady doing that. I mean, it's just, you know, it's such a colossal waste of time to wait on my phone for so long to get on the air to, you know, to mention another show. I mean, it's just the, it's the height of just stupidity. Jimmy at Queens, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, Mike, I got two bones to pick with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, first... You know, the New England Journal of Medicine says that one soda a day 
you guarantee. Don't worry about my. Don't worry about my life. Go ahead. Just yeah, don't worry about your own. Give me. Give me the next one. That's all. What? What is it? that? You called up the. So you had two. You had two. What's the I second one? You're showing a bad example. Oh, okay. So I'm not another drink. So you don't want me drink? Oh, okay. I'm sorry if you don't want me. I didn't ask anybody else to drink the soda. If I want to drink, it's my business. Okay. Don in Holtzville, what's up, Don? I don't, I don't promote it. I'm not advertising it. I don't tell anybody else to drink it. Uh, I'm not telling you to drink You know what? Call up Coca-Cola and Pepsi and tell, talk to them about it. They're the ones putting out billions of bottles of the stuff a year. Don't worry about me setting a, a bad example, okay? Marianne in Brooklyn, what's up, Marianne? Hi, Mike. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, thank you. Um, I yes. the See, this is a guy who's acting like, uh, which I knew the whole time, he was acting like a lady and it was a guy. But that's okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted to give him a chance to see how crazy his thing was. It wasn't, uh, you know, he named some obscure person that his buddy his. You know, that's all. That's okay. I mean, we can live with that. I didn't know where it was going, but remember, it's not getting on the air anyway. It's going to get dumped. You know, folks, it's going to get dumped. Don't waste your time. Mike in North Carolina, what's up, Mike? <laughs> Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, so there's a child who got the, got the phone for a second, you know, there's a, and really showed all of his brains in about 20 seconds. Doesn't take any brains to come on the air and grab the phone and curse. I mean, just silly. Scott, the scat away. What's up, Scott? Hey, Mike, what's going on? The six cents, you would definitely fall asleep if you were watching that one. Um, but real quick, um, the... Uh, the Teo thing, uh, the, the rumor has it that his father was also a bone smuggler from Hawaii. Right. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Do you yeah, think it's yeah. affect his draft status? Yeah, I think, uh, you know what? Here's the question. Here's the question. Do they actually let you out alone, or do they uh, make you go out, you know, with an escort? That, that would be the question I have. Melvin in the Bronx. What's up, Melvin? Hey, I don't approve, I, I don't approve people getting beaten up. But I just want to point out that baseball has always been a crazy game. And there's, there's a great book written a couple of years ago called Crazy 08 about the 1908 baseball season. That was the year that Merkel didn't touch second. And she, there's a woman who wrote the book. She describes that when you look at the, at the you know, first of all, the outfield was defined by the crowds. In uh, other words, it's not a question of having... What does that have to do with now? Well, because people used to bring pistols to the game. Well, it's 1908, and, though, but it's 100 years ago. Well, but that's baseball. That's not what... what uh, that's my view. In other words, your view is what? You want them to bring pistols to the game? Well, I, do I say they should bring pistols to the game? I'm only saying that if you looked, you could see stratuses of gunpowder layers. Well, what, do you, what does that have to do with now? Because baseball... Why don't they ride horses? They probably rode horses to the game in 1908. You want them to ride horses down to Deegan out of the game, too? Well, what's that? I didn't get that one. Well, yeah, it's 100 years ago you're talking about. Things have changed. Well, some things haven't, some things haven't. People are very passionate about baseball, and that's the way it is. So you don't mind somebody getting shot or mind. beat up in the ball game? Much. I don't think it's right, but I just think people should realize... But it's baseball. New. So really, your point is, if a guy gets hit with a club at a game, you just no, say, hey, that's baseball. No, it's, 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 we should stop it. But I think recognizing that it's part of the game, uh, okay. so, get rid of it. I mean, and it wasn't even bad day. And, you know, the guy got hit at the game. You know? I, okay. I got it. Okay. Mike and Shelton, what's up, Mike? Not much, Mike. Uh, Mike, I, I, I wanted to talk to you about... Um, a couple things involving college uh, players and, and uh, the NFL draft. Um, Mike, do you find it kind of concerning that uh, college college football is kind of like, um, you know, the way that they're making college football players and they're going to the NFL draft, they have a good process right now, Mike, but I feel like, Certain guys, like, for example, Mike, Johnny Mike, Mandel. Get, please get to a point, because I don't know what you're talking about. All right, Johnny Mandel, when he was in college, he uh, got a lot of exposure, uh, uh, for, and he had, before he even played, uh, and he went 22 to the Browns, uh, which, for example, they, in the last three years, they drafted a quarterback. To, uh, you know, what, 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 what is this? Have, what, make a point, please. The point is, the NFL and right. colleges, right. they need to start to get 
get away from giving all these guys so much hype. Okay, got it. Thanks. I knew we were getting nowhere. Uh, I, also, I also got Francesca, too. I was on fire. I'm oh, uh, let's hear that. <laughs> guy's nuts. Larry and Tom's River, what's up, Larry? Hey, Mike. Uh, I wanted to ask you how you feel about Dan Filato from the Artie Wang show taking a bologna baton in his duty dumpster. Right, so there's a guy who just waits and that's not getting on the air anyway. So you just you, know, you waste your time. It's just wasting your time. You're gonna be vulgar to uh, to impress some of the show somewhere. You have to get on the air. It's a waste of time. You, Mike you can't get it on the air. John in Jersey. What? Mike again. I hate to say this, Mike. Someone's got to break it to you. It's on the air. Mike. It's on, what? What's up, John? Mark, how are you? I'm a Red Sox fan who really hates the Yankees. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you something. This is the best trade and the best deal they got since Babe Ruth. It might even be better. Oh, my God. No, this sorry. guy, listen, oh my God. this guy saves them two runs a game. He's worked three, oh three to three and a half runs a game oh my God. because of the catches he makes in the outfield. Who was, do you think he was a better? You think he was a better? You think he was a better center fielder last year? Than, you think he was a better center fielder than Gardner was last year? Way better. Way no, better because you're, 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 you think Gordon is slow? Mike, listen to me for a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. You see who wins the Gold Glove in center field this year, okay? Uh, Gary in Connecticut. What's up, Gary? Hi, Mike. Um, uh, before I start with sports, I know you're a big Harry Truman fan. I waited a long time to talk to you about this. Do you know what Harry Truman said about Nixon? Uh, what he famously said? About about Nixon. Yeah. No, I don't remember off the top of my head, no. I mean, he said a lot of things about a lot of people, Harry Truman. I know that, but here's here's the quote. It's pretty funny. He said, I'd call Nixon a son of a you-know-what. No, I, know, I know the quote, yes. I, knew, I yeah. know the quote, yes. I do. Okay, um, here's why I called. You've been lamb lambasting people lately for mispronouncing Coughlin when they call him Coughlin. Am I allowed to lambaste you for some mispronunciations? Is that what you called up to do? Is that, you, is, is, that, is, that, is that what you called up to do? Then do it some other time. Because I, I, I got, I just had two coaches on, and you're going to call me up to lambast me on a pronunciation? I mean, please, don't waste everybody's time. Hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, I just want to touch on what you said before about uh, the Steelers being done if, you know, they lost the, uh, Big Ben. Yeah, I don't think they did. I think it's going to be in season, going to be a very, very difficult transition if they lose them, yes. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's not one quarter, there's not one team in the league that they lose their starting quarterback that uh, you know, they won't be finished. But my thing is, if well, I think there's we, some we, that we, well, we, I think there's some that might not be totally finished. But I think I think Roethlisberger is probably as valuable a player as there is in the league. I think if we get all Lang to be our quarterback, I think we'll be all right, though. Uh, I mean, if he if you think he can do the job, I mean, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I've never seen him play quarterback, but if you think he can, you know, maybe, you know. I mean, that's, you know, I, I hope you get, like, some kind of, you know, prize or reward for that. Francis in Astoria. What's up, Francis? Hey, Mike. Uh, first time, long time. Good. What's up? Just wanted to let you know we're going to be getting some snow later this afternoon. No naps, huh? Uh, let's go. You got something important to say. Let's go. You want to say something about the Mets or no? All right, so there's some fool. There's always, you know, there's folks, there's always a fool. You can't, you can't, you know, I don't know why they waste your time, my time, you know. So, you know, here's a guy who calls up. Does he think he's going to affect me in some way? I mean, God, I've been doing this 25 years. Do you think, do you think anything you say is ever going to bother me? Yeah, those people are crazy. Can I get your take on the uh, rangers Ducks game tonight? No. No, you can't. Because no one cares. John joins us. What's up, John? Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good. I have two issues. The one with uh, Manti Teo and the other one with the uh, Rooney rule. The one with Manti Teo doesn't mean, if you don't have a girlfriend, it doesn't mean that you're gay, because I don't have a girlfriend. There's a lot of women that I sleep with. And the thing with the Rooney rule, like, uh, how come we don't hire American Indian coaches? <laughs> and, 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 and listen, that's a little more information than I need. Um, really a lot more information than I need. Let me tell you, folks, I'm not really interested in what you do. I mean, listen, keep to yourself. I, mean, I really don't care one way or the other, whether you're busy, not busy, you know, how you spend your evenings. I mean, it's all up to you. Dave in Red Bank. What's up, Dave? Hey, Mike. What's going on? What's up? Uh, I just want to talk about this guy, Al Albuquerque. I mean, what, what's his deal? How bad is this guy? Who is Al Albuquerque? Al Albuquerque. No, you're yeah. supposed to say, you know, if you're going to, it's really, if you're trying to be funny, it's Albuquerque. It's not Al Albuquerque. It's okay? birthday. I mean, oh, jeez. Children, near the phones. Russ and in Inwood, what's up, Russ? Hi, uh, Mike? Yes. 
uh, Gus from Inwood. Oh, it says Russ. But go ahead, Gus. Uh, what's up? I wanted to know, where do you think now with Henrik Lundqvist, the fact that he won another Game 7 again yesterday, his Game 7 record at the Garden, where does that rank in terms of comparing it to the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania? All right, Russ, I don't know why you wasted your time, you know, to talk about WrestleMania, because you know I'm not going to talk about it. James and Yonkers, what's up, James? Hey, Mike, love you, love the show. Yank, what's up? All right, I just want to, just with the NFL, with the, uh, with the Jets, do you think Rex Ryan, is he more regretful with, with given the build stuff, Philly season, is he more regretful trading away Sanchez, or are you falling asleep with Philly and Diaco? I guess I knew that was going to be something, though. Hey, what's up, Ken? Oh. Yes, Ken. I just had a quick question for you. Um, yes. What do you think about Vladimir Guerrero not getting him enough votes to play in the NBA All-Star game tonight? Uh, <laughs> so you have nothing better to do today. Is that basically it? You just wait. You want to waste everybody's time. You're driving, no less, doing this. Really. you got to find something better to do. Stephen Hempstead, what's up, Steve? Alright, so uh, there's a guy who waved online today just to ask you a ridiculous question. I mean, listen, you know, hey, you're gonna, it's going to happen. You know, Sooner or later it's going to happen. You're going to get people who just come on and, you know, you get children on the phone. I mean, what can you do? It happens. Benny and I ask, what's up, Benny? Hey, Mikey, how are you? Miss, miss you on uh, Mike's Up on Channel What's Four. happening? Great job with Mantle. Listen, uh, you were talking about the Derrick Rose with the knee injury, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, I have a weight problem, uh, you know, like you, so I, yeah, I have the bad knees, but this guy's real skinny. He should be able to get out there. What do you think, Mike? I think you're a fool, but that's okay. Well, um, you know, on my way there. No, it's okay. my first time. Okay. Right. And, you know, when I plan on you to go to the game, I'm definitely going to be singing a song, singing a song to you. Right. And this guy just you know, lost his mind. Anthony in Long Island. What's up, Anthony? Hey, Mike. I really like your armpit here. It brings out your eyes. I don't know what that was about. Some child calling for something. I guess, you know, school must be out. Go get a job for the summer. Or go help someone. You know, go do some charity work or something. Go to the hospital, work in the afternoon. Do something. Help somebody. Don't sit there and run up your mother's phone bill. Anthony in Stony Point. What's up, Anthony? Hey, Mike. How you doing, man? Good. Uh, what do you think about Bruno San Martino uh, getting nominated for the WWE Hall of Fame? Uh, you, are you even old enough to know who Bruno Sammartino is? I mean, you, you probably read it in one of those magazines that you found somewhere. You know, Bruno Sammartino. Uh, Ira in, in Florida, what's up, Ira? Oh, yeah, Mike. Uh, I was just wondering, do you think more people would attend Mets games if they could attend the game naked? Uh, I don't know. Really, uh, I haven't given it much thought. Maybe you're right. Uh, Bob in Oklahoma, go ahead, Bob. Uh, yes. Yes, Bob. Come on, Orlando. Bob, you called me, so if you don't know that, why would you be calling? An old friend, Sussex Frank. <laughs> Nick in Nantucket. Uh, Nick, what's going on? A little hey, alliteration Mike, you for you on a First Friday. Time, Nick time. in Nantucket. Go ahead, Nick. What's up? Uh, I was wondering if I could do like a quick riddle with you real quick before I get to my uh, question. Uh, you have to answer uh, I, I, it fast. I, 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 well, it's Nick and it's, I, I should expect a riddle from Nick in Nantucket, I guess. Go ahead. What's yeah. up? All right. No. If Dan Filato went on a road trip to Colorado while eating the gelato while listening to Desperado, who would be in the oh, car with him? God, that, I can't deal with that. Go ahead. <laughs> Give me the question. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's tough. Come here, Mato. Yeah, what do you uh, yeah. What did he say? <laughs> I don't know. He got, I got mad that I didn't like his litter. But his, his slim rick or his riddle was ridiculous. <laughs> I should have known him. But Nick in Nantucket is, you know, you got to expect a riddle or a limerick from Nick in Nantucket. You know? I mean, what else you, you know what a limerick is? Nantucket. What else would you want? You know, he calls up, he gives you a riddle. He gets mad that I don't like his riddle. I, you know, I didn't even want to listen to it, to be honest with you. Out to Southampton, New York, we go. And we uh, welcome in Wigward. Wigward. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Now, look, I got to ask you before we start. Okay. How do you get a name? Is that your first name? Yeah. It's one of those pretentious uh, Hamptons names. You know? Wigward? Uh, Wig yeah. Wigward is your first name? Wigward, yeah. What is your middle name? Wigward. Anthony. And your middle name's Anthony? Yes. Is Wigward like a family name? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's apparently a nickname. Uh, my dad had, and he bestowed it upon me, and I, you know, I hated it until I was 10, and that was totally original. It's 
it's one of those pretentious, uh, you know, Hampton fans, and I embrace it. That. I love it. Do you, I mean, so, I mean, I, you know, it's funny that you said it because I would think of you behind a hedge with that, with that, with that first name, you know? Well, I, I, I'm a landscaper, I'm not a landscaper. <laughs> I would say, I would say you'd be behind a Hampton <laughs> hedge. Absolutely. I mean, you would be stand, I mean, you would be standing out there in the summer having a gin and tonic uh, in your uh, Ferragamos and uh, behind a hedge. Barry, that, that was talking about Bob Lita. He's coming to start a landscape. What's up? Bob Lita. What's up? Mike, uh, I'm just really quick. I wanted, I wanted to send you on LeBron James. I'd love your take on it. But that sports movies. There's going to be a new sports movie about a girl named Emily Simon about an aspiring WNBA player. They made a fictitious Long Island team. I saw a screener of it. We're in the Hamptons. We get the screener. Called the Long Island Pelicans. They heard the name of the movie is Zoo Dot Zoo. So stay on the lookout for that. That's her nickname because she was a speedy little small person. So this is a movie about a woman's basketball player? Women's basketball player, a fictitious WNBA team they made up, as they always do. They're not allowed to use a real name. Are you involved with the movie? No, no. I just got a screen over. It actually looks, you know how men's basketball, they can't get a good basketball movie because you can't get actors who can play at that level and look convincing. And you and I can spot it the way a guy catches the ball. Right. So, so... Women's basketball is way easier to see. Interesting. Interesting. And the, yeah. movie, what the name of the movie is Zuza Zoo? Zuza Zoo. All right. So that should be, it should be great. Okay. Bill in Flushing, what's up, Bill? Mike, uh, you said before you'd rather start Harvey in Atlanta. Yes. I think you're totally wrong here. The picture is warmed up. The, the most disadvantage is the hitter. And I, as a pitcher, had my biggest day in the cold weather. Really, again. Bill? Bill, we're not talking about you. Sorry. I don't care about your softball, oh, okay, men's okay. softball let's, team, let's okay? Go, we know, no one cares about let's, your men's softball team. Do you, no remember, softball you remember a guy hardball. named, oh, really, where did you, what, what major league team did you play for? I played high school. Oh, yeah, Bill, Bill, come on. So, uh, so, uh, I'm Bill, about come on the now, please. Up of the Bill, is Bill much it's warmer. hard to hit in the cold weather. I understand that. We all, anybody who played baseball in the Northeast knows that it's hard to hit in the cold okay. weather. You get bees in the bat. But that's not what we're talking about here. But we're Harvey, talking about a guy in inclement weather. You don't want him cooling off. You don't want him out there. You don't want him sitting on the bench in long innings in a wet undershirt. You don't want him. Pitching in inclement, cold Mike, weather. The man is warmed up. Oh, He's Bill, pitching. Bill, Bill, get lost. Oh, get, come on, please. You know, please. Paul on Valley Cottage. What's up, Paul? Yeah, uh, Mike and Bill, a uh, long time caller. Yes. Okay, and um, I'm not even a first time caller. So, yes, okay. Okay, yeah, I've been a Jet fan for 45 years. I love this team. I'm so proud of them, and I think they're going to win Sunday. But you know what, Mike? All the passion that you're doing, it just shows, it proves that you, you're the biggest phony, you're the biggest fraud. Because if you're a buddy, well, why out, am I a like, phony or a fraud? What is that? Wait, 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 How did I bash? Wait a second. What did I bash the Jet? Wait a second. Give me a chance to talk. Wait a second. What did I kill him about? About everything that lucky. You, what about when you play that that uh, that little thing? They have the best defense against the uh, against the field goal team. I mean, come on. Mike. Wait, is that true? Is it is it true? Is it true? Is it is it is it true? Or is it nothing to do? This has nothing to do. This has nothing to do. Every team gets breaks along the way. They do. You know that. They do. So, like for you to just bash the team, it just shows you you're just a phony. Why am I phony? Wait, 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 wait. Why? 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 Wait, 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 wait,
Everything I said is true. I don't care. I don't root for the Dolphins. I've never said one word. I never. I don't. Wait a second. I don't like the Dolphins. I've never said. You, you are so wrong. You've never said. I've never rooted. You're totally wrong. And let me ask something. Was Mike Tannenbaum on his program yesterday? Yes, he was. Did I talk to him about that whole incident? Did I tease him about that whole incident? I didn't really, I didn't well, you know, it's just then, then get lost because you don't know what you're talking about, okay? You have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you know, uh, the reason I know a lot about sports is uh, I listen to Mike Francesa. And, uh, of course, <laughs> Rod from Bayside uh, yesterday called him up and was nice enough to plug my book coming out October 29th. I told Rod he made a mistake. He's got to call him back and say that my book is available for pre-order. Uh, Crash and Burn by Art Lang. It's available for pre-order now ah. on uh, Amazon.com. So uh, here's what happened today on the Mike Francesa show. <laughs> Mark and Flushing, what's up, Mark? Hey, Mike, I forgot to tell you yesterday that you can now pre-order Art Lang's book, Crash and Burn, on <laughs> Amazon.com. <laughs> See, here's these guys he who want the to get plug their in. messages. <laughs> he got the whole plug in. It was perfect. He couldn't have <laughs> scripted it anymore. On the air that aren't for the air. You can't. <laughs> We have a safeguard against that, uh, well, so you're wasting Mike, your time what's sitting hard. Right, st stop it for a second, Mike. I hate to. I, I don't want. If anybody from the Francesca show listens to me, tell them this. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> the safeguard's not working. Like two yeah. days in a row, Rod from Bayside got on and plugged my book. Yeah, all that, sitting there all that time, and then you try to get it on, and it was worth it. TJ in New Hyde Park. What's up, TJ? Hi, Mike. Uh, yes. First time, long time. Good. What's going on? I uh, just have a question. Who has uh, lower expectations on a nightly basis? Uh, the Islanders or your wife? Another line of conversation. Uh, and so it wasn't heard, outlandish. Yeah, and I heard what you said about the pass rusher, too, but I thought your Cooper answer was outstanding. Thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> Coming from you, that means a lot, <laughs> obviously. Put my mic on! <laughs> <laughs> Stop turning it off, please. Gosh. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Every time I go to talk, my mic is off. That's usually in a talk back to the uh, producer. Uh, louder, louder. You just, you just saw real radio, folks. Exactly. It's louder than that, usually, okay? <laughs> my gosh. 537-6666, Andy in Seattle, what's up? Looking forward, looking forward to this game a lot. You know, I think it'll set the stage for a good weekend of football. Right now, you've got Oklahoma and Florida. I mean, so much offensive firepower on both teams. I know both teams can go big, 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 big. But the question is, which team will have the bigger boom to complement the big? Uh, defense. If you, if that, if I'm supposed to relate binks and booms to offense and defense in Andy's world, whatever world that may be. Uh, clueless in Seattle, but uh, that would be uh, defense will be flawed. Yeah. Joe on the cell, what's up, Joe? Hey, how you doing, Mike? What's happening? Not much, Mike. Can you do me a favor and at least announce the Colts head coach name correctly? It's Caldwell. It's not Caldwell, Mike. Who cares? God, you know what? If you don't like the way I announce things, then don't worry about it. I mean, I, I, if you don't like the way I pronounce my R's and L's, then don't worry about it. You know, I'll tell you what. After I'm out here, the next guy can pronounce Caldwell, Caldwell, Caldwell. If my R and L, if you don't like the way I roll them, you know what? You know, tough. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Tough. I don't care. That they would have never lost. They would have never, uh, never. Uh, Jimmy, we hear hey, Eddie. We're here, Eddie. Uh, we're, be careful now. We hear you on the air. Okay. So we're hearing Eddie on the air while he's talking to the control room. Okay. It's never you, Jim. I'm just telling you I hear Eddie on the air, okay? That's what I'm just let me tell him that I hear him on the air, okay? I know it's not you, Jim, and it's not Eddie on the air, except I hear him on the air, okay? So, uh, Eddie, you are on the air, so I'm just telling you to be careful what you're saying. So, if, it's not you, though, but it, it, you're on the air, okay? So, I mean, G, I don't, G, Jim, we didn't touch uh, hey, uh, Jim, calm down, okay? Calm down. Just doesn't tell me he's not on the air when I can listen to him, okay? But anyway, the scenario with the railroad. Right. The bottom line is that if they had done that then, they never would have lost the NBA team here. I, I've always felt felt that. <laughs> Jim, I just heard everything you just said on the air, okay? You're hearing something the, the mic shouldn't be on. Turn it off. You work in engineering or not? Turn. Okay. TV. Hey, he, if one for TV, we wouldn't be on the air, Jim. Oh, yeah? Okay. Don't, don't start, okay? No, no, no. Okay. No, I mean, I mean. Jim, turn the mic off. You guys are on my show. I don't want you on the show, okay? Turn the mic off, guys. 
Jeez. All right, we got the mic off, so we should be okay right Take now. a break. Right now, take a break. We'll be back. 338, Sports Radio 66. Steve and Bambrook. What's up, Steve? All right, how's it going? What's up? Mike, two quick comments about the Yanks, and I want your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Number one, I think it's funny how some of these uh, so-called Yankee fans are calling up saying the Yanks are better off without uh, Granderson and Teixeira in a lineup. That's pretty funny. Number two, I heard the good news on one of the Yanks' uh, updates regarding A-Rods getting ready to resume all baseball activities. Mike, let me just say this. Here are the three baseball activities that a -Rod should worry about. Number one, that the makeup on his face is on when he's going to be the interviews he's going to be doing. Number two, that he's sitting in the Yankee dugout practicing spinning his sunflower seed shells out of his mouth. And number three, that he's sitting in the Yankee dugout waving to the camera saying hi to mom. Because, Mike, you know as well as I do, this guy's the biggest waste of time. And a couple months from now, if he's in the middle of the Yankee lineup, I'll puke in front of the TV. Your thoughts, Mike? Uh, should, I, should I assume that you don't like him? Dennis and Duma, what's up, Dennis? Hey, Mike, how you doing? Listen, uh, just to start from scratch, that whole team is cancer. I was sick to my stomach with looking at it yesterday. Maybe it's better you do bring in Peyton Manning. Now you see this Peyton Manning pipe dream. First of all, we don't. Well, first of all, they, listen. It is. A, it is a pipe dream. First of all, okay. Number one. Wait a second. Wait a second. How do you get? How do you get Peyton Manning under the salary cap? He's a leader. How do you get him under? Wait a second. Forget that he's a leader. How do you get him under the salary cap? How do you get him under the salary cap? To get him in here, to take that whole team out. He pay he gets paid twenty eight million dollars on March sixth. How do you get him under the salary cap? To get him in here. Do again, him. again, a brilliant answer. A brilliant answer. You get him in here. Who cares that he makes thirty million dollars a year? Eli's gotta be very careful today because you make a bad pass against these guys. They take it to the house the other way. They are lost in this. They're plus 15 because the Packers don't turn the ball over. But also, these guys take interceptions the length of the field all the time. Look what they did to the, you know, just I go back game after game this year. They have made big play. Jack, just turn the lights out. Not a good way to finish the show. Not a good way to, Jack, leave him alone. It's, just, it's not a good way to finish the show. You know Jack's back in the studio. Come here. You turn the lights out on the program. We're saying goodbye to the national audience. Say goodbye. We'll see you next week. I will see you, I will see you next week. Benny and Nyack. What's up, Benny? Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mike. I I'm sorry, but this guy was a 60-second round pick, and all of a sudden he's a Hall of Famer, and you don't think he did steroids? Wait, but he was he was a big hitter when he was a kid, though. He just wasn't a, he wasn't a fielder. That's why he wasn't a – if you read the book, Mike, you find out that he wasn't Mike, a fielder. Mike, come on. Hitter, hitters get taken – before the 60 second pick but I agree he's the best gay catcher ever uh, you know this, just beep it out hey Mike how you doing good hey uh, before I get to my jet point um, I'm surprised you haven't talked a lot about Rutgers football maybe get uh, Chris Carlin on well we're just starting to get there I'll get the coach on first I mean we haven't even put the coach on yet they're coming up on their bigger games if they continue to win and they continue to get through this stretch of the schedule and get to the tougher games. They're going to get to the tougher games very soon. Then we will put them on. They're, they're almost done the part of the schedule that they figured to get through. Uh, and if they remain ranked and unbeaten, we will definitely put the coach on. The, uh, they, the coaches wanted to come on a couple of times. We just haven't gotten to college football yet. But we will be putting them on uh, very soon if they keep winning. All right, well, it just seems like you're sleeping on the job again. Uh, no, I'm not really. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, uh, college football really doesn't have much appeal here in New York. You know that? I mean, you're probably not aware of that, but, you know, you probably had to wait there and figure out a way to come up with that real clever remark for a couple of months. John in Sayville, what's up, John? Hey, what's going on, Mike? How are you doing today? What's happening? Uh, yeah, first off, I want to talk to you about Hamilton. First, I just want to get your opinion on this real quick. All right, so uh, I'm 20 years old. I'm in college right now. And there's this girl in my class. She's an absolute smoke show, Mike. I'm telling you right now, an absolute smoke show. Go, go to the. I don't care. Let's go to the other stuff. Come on, let's go. I don't care. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So I knew we weren't going to get there. I knew. I knew we'd never get in the Hamels. I have a question for you. Would you be open to the idea of possibly doing a sumo match with Rex Ryan for charity? Uh, how much money are you going to put up? 
Yeah, I would. Add, you can, they can not leave up that question. I want to see how much money he's going to put up. What's up, Joe? Hey, what's going on, Mike? What's happening? Um, I have two things to talk about. Um, you know, the first thing got me crazy on the comments you made about before about LeBron and MJ. And I want to know how on earth you are comparing LeBron to MJ to LeBron. LeBron doesn't even come close to MJ. Uh, uh, I'm listening. Are you why? kidding me? Why? He must be a retard to say that. Why? Look at, look at LeBron's team. You tell me why. Did you watch? Well, don't hang up on the guy. Uh, Benny joins us uh, on the NFL now. What's up, Benny? Hey, Mike. Happy Halloween. Thanks. What's up? Well, well the costume. Hey, uh, two things. I want to talk about the Giants. The last night's USC game, great game. But two things. So what about the relationship with Marcel's one? Well, we're, not, we're not talking about that. Go ahead. What's next? What's next? Oh, sorry. And, uh, Hey, what's your take on the, the USC cheerleaders? What do you think of their outfit? Uh, you know, you're a fool for calling. Uh, why waste our time? All right, uh, Scott, uh, I should have said what he said. Love the outfit. I should have gotten rid of him. I mean, the guy, you know, there's always a fool every morning. Mike in Brooklyn, what's up, Mike? Hey, I'm a long-time caller, first-time listener. I love, i got to say, you know, this nonsense about uh, being a Yankees fan and a Mets fan at once. You know, it's really ridiculous. I have one Yankee comment. Um, hey, did you hear that Kiri Herman's back, Mike? All right, there's a guy. There's a guy that's just wasting his. I, I hope if I have more. I, I hope a guy who's going to wait online for a half hour to ask me about Pee Wee Herman. Can, I hope he can find something more productive to do with his day. Please, you know that. Go visit the sick or something. Go clean up the street. Go do something productive with your day, please. They TJ in New Hyde Park. What's up, TJ? Hi, Mike. Uh, yes. First time, long time. Good. What's going on? I uh, just have a question. Who has uh, lower expectations on a nightly basis? Uh, the Islanders or your wife? Stu in New Jersey, what's up, Stu? Hey, Mike, how are you? How are you? in the St. George's shirt, I like that. What's happened? Uh, I have a question. We've been hearing rumors about David Wright perhaps going to the Detroit Tigers. And I want to know, do you still like Brandon H? David Wright going to the to Detroit Tigers? I mean, are you just a goofball or what? David Wright's not going to the uh, Detroit Tigers under any circumstances. And that was to, I guess, get to David, uh, to get to Brandon Edge, which I gather that's what that was about. Max and Rhinebeck, what's up, Max? Hey, Mike, how are you? Good. Um, I just want to talk about the uh, Yankees pitching staff. Like, um, what CC is about the, I mean, you got to turn your radio down. I mean, he's been, he's been pretty good this year, but are you at all scared? Yeah, I'm very scared about CC Sabathia, okay? Boy, oh boy. Back. Benny, I'm not asked what's up. Hey, Mike. What's up, Benny? Big, big Yankee fans this night. Talk about CC, uh, the weight problem. Can you play third base and stuff? How, how, how does the weight get affect him? Come on now, he has a whole weight problem. I mean, come on now, be surreal. I mean, come on, you got to more important thing to worry about CC's weight. I mean, Jesus. Alex in, in New Jersey, what's up, Alex? Hey, how are you? What's um, happening? I just wanted to say that I really think the Jets made an incredible move uh, getting Brandon Marshall for a fifth round pick. I think that's an incredible move by the GM. Yeah, uh, I know that it, it's it's definitely it's, it definitely works. There's no question. Yeah, and another point I'd like to make is no one's talking about the biggest disgrace in sports right now. And that's that Daniel Bryan's not fighting Brock Lesnar for the title of WrestleMania. Well, again, uh, we could have lived without that, but, you know, who cares? Here's the McMahon. Well, good morning at 11.20. Francesca on the fan on the St. Patrick's Day, the 17th day of March. A happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Also, as we get ready to put the tournament on the field to Houston, which they are there now. The first four games were anything but exciting. But now the real uh, tournament is underway. Now, they did a little different. First, let me wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving and a beautiful day it is to get out and have a little fun. Spring is in the air, no question. Warmer weather tomorrow. Spring comes in on Sunday. <laughs>